As you know, what we do now every week is a little segment we called Opening This Week, where we highlight the films that are opening in theaters everywhere this week. We got four films this week, so we're going to cover two of them today and two more on Thursday. And the two that we're going to cover today are brought to you by our good friends over at AMC Theaters, where you can catch these films this week. We're talking about pixels. We're talking about the Vatican tapes. Ashley... Tell us a little bit about them. First up is the new Adam Sandler film, Pixels. When aliens intercept video feeds of classic arcade games and misinterpret them as a declaration of war, they attack Earth using the games as models. Knowing that he must employ a similar strategy, President Will Cooper, Kevin James, recruits his childhood pal, former video game champ, and home theater installer Sam Brenner, Adam Sandler, to lead a team of old-school arcade players, Peter Dinklage, Josh Gad, and a military specialist, Michelle Monaghan to save the planet. Pixels opens this Friday on over 3,500 screens. Next up is the supernatural thriller The Vatican Tapes, starring Michael Pena, who can currently be seen in Marvel's Ant-Man, Jaimin Hansu, and Doug Ray Scott. The Vatican Tapes follows the ultimate battle between good and evil. Angela Holmes is an ordinary 27-year-old until she begins to have a devastating effect on anyone close to her, causing serious injury and death. Holmes is examined and possession is suspected but when the Vatican is called upon to exercise the demon, the possession proves to be an ancient satanic force more powerful than ever imagined. It's all up to Father Lozano to wage war for more than just Angela's soul, but for the world as we know it. The Vatican tapes opens on 400 screens across the country. John, what should people be excited about this week? I'm honestly excited about the Vatican tapes. Now, full disclosure here, I'm a bit biased. The director, Mark Neverdine, is a friend of mine and introduced me to my wife. So I'm, uh, I am biased there. But Michael Pena, who we just saw in uh, A-Man, love him that. Jaimon Hansu, who is, he, I, I think, one of the most underrated and underappreciated actors in the business. He shows up in films like Guardian of the Galaxy and stuff like that. But you can put him in anything and he will make it pop and make it work and this i watched the trailer i thought the trailer was genuinely creepy i thought this didn't feel a lot like because remember a couple of years ago we were like inundated with like possession movies sure. just inundated it's been a couple of years but but it's honestly for whatever reason this one clicked for me i'm looking forward um to the vatican tapes pixels is one that I remember when we first heard the description about it, I thought, oh, this has promise. I was a little bit nervous about it because of the cast. I haven't liked anything that um, that Adam Sandler and uh, Paul Blart have been in together yet. I haven't liked anything that they've done together yet. I've become more of a fan in recent years of Adam Sandler as a dramatic actor, actually. I think when he does drama, he shines. The dude is a star when it comes to dramatic acting. But I haven't liked any of his comedies in a really long time. The trailer worked for some people at this table, and it didn't work for me personally. So I'm actually going to go see Pixels tonight. So I'll let you guys know more about what I think about it later. I'm not super stoked about it, though, myself. Shep, I remember you liking the second trailer, especially yeah. when it came out. But are you looking forward to either of these films? As long as Kubert has a very large <laughs> screen presence, <laughs> and as long as the movie doesn't end with those aliens playing like Space Invaders and Pac-Man, if it ends that way, I'm going to destroy something. <laughs> I'm going to get incredibly angry. Uh, I might turn green. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm still looking forward to Pixels. You know, it, it could suck. Or it could be amazing. It's really like that last trailer that I saw. I was like, wow. It's like some of those scenes didn't work. And some, most of the scenes did. I know a lot of people loved the second trailer. Yeah, that was, I was on the same camp. I love the second trailer. But it's Adam Sandler. So it's like it really is that like, wow. You know, I just have to wait and see. So I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about it after you see it. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to see it on opening day as far as I'm concerned. David, what stands out to you? My love of video games will take me to see Pixels. Uh, you guys were playing The Witcher 3 back there. I put 103 mm -hmm. hours into beating that game. Oh, so wow. While, wow. You're, while, while you're starting your journey, know that it will take you 100 hours to finish that wow. game. So my love of video games take me there. I love the scene in the trailer with uh, Pac-Man and his maker, you know, going to right. him. He's like, my son, you know. <laughs> so it looks silly, but uh, it could be funny. I was talking to Ashley earlier about some of our favorite um, exorcism uh, based movies, and I know we're talking about uh, the exorcism. We sound so morbid right now. Our favorite <laughs> exorcism based movies. Yeah, we get here at 10 in the morning. Let's talk about some, our favorite. Hey, what's your favorite exorcism, you know, exorcism movie? Who's so, your favorite dead guy? Yeah, like, <laughs> My favorite possession <laughs> film is Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> so uh, I, I, we, we both, uh, I think, enjoy the genre. 
uh, the trailer didn't grab me, but just because, like I said, because of Michael Pena, uh, the cast, and just uh, it, it does visually look like it could be scary. And that stuff for me, could, I don't know, it's weird because that stuff, it's like it's not like aliens, like maybe it's real, maybe it's not, you know, those possession stories are yeah. kind of freaky because on some of those stories, they actually have like footage. Uh, this isn't one of those, but it's just kind of scary. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to check out both, but I think I'm more excited about Pixels because of video games.